Technology and time are our friends when it comes to medical care. Research is a game changer in how doctors diagnose and treat cancer, and a big part of that is genetics. Corwell Health has an oncology collaboration team that works together to improve outcomes. Dr. Caleb Bupp is the division chief for genetics. He joins us via Zoom to explain what this means for all of us. Doctor, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it. Absolutely. So t tell us a little bit about the genetics program and oncology collabor collaboration team. What does that mean for patients? It's a bit of a mouthful, right? <laughs> yes, a little bit. <laughs> so, you know, we know that changes in our genetic code can cause health issues. And cancer is probably the best example. Like when cells have mutations in that, that's what causes cancer. And so now we have the opportunity to look through genetics and find the exact genetic cause of the cancer. And that makes a big difference when it when we're figuring out how to treat those patients. Okay, so Corwell focused on making care more simple and affordable. So how does genetics play a role in this collaboration and making this a reality? Well, if you have cancer and you have to get treatment, wouldn't it be nice if you got the right treatment the first time? So, you know, finding the genetic cause gives us a way to target the treatment to exactly what is going on. And the world's also gotten smaller with virtual care, so we can bring our teams together to collaborate on these cases and bounce ideas off of each other, get feedback and input, and make sure that, again, we do the right thing the first time. I love that. And talk more about the telehealth and, and how it's able to really bring everyone together, streamline this process, and get everyone on the same page when it comes to treating patients. Well, I think everybody knows when you have a medical appointment, you got to drive there, you got to find the office, you got to park. It, it can be fairly time consuming. And certainly when someone's going through a cancer battle, the idea of sitting down at home and flipping on a computer and getting that care right on demand, that's a really lovely thing to be able to do. Talk about like making things simple, right? Um, it's also given us the opportunity, no matter where you live, um, you know, genetic changes don't know a zip code, regardless of your genetic code. So from an equity standpoint, again, we love that folks can access care regardless of where they live. Yeah, absolutely. And let's talk about outcomes. Um, how has this changed and made things better for patients? Do you have any examples for us? Well, when you have a patient that has a specific kind of cancer that's rare, you know, cancer in general is pretty rare, but each individual cancer can be very personal. Sometimes it's not entirely clear what to do. So you need to pull your colleagues, you need to pull experts. And the genetics community is pretty small to begin with, but this has just given us an opportunity to kind of band together and really be able to give that exceptional care because everybody agreed that this was the right thing to do instead of one person kind of making their best guess. Absolutely, absolutely. We're all working better as a team. So, so talk to us about the impact this is having for people in West Michigan, those suffering from cancer, for patients, for their families. We are seeing more and more recommendations come out that if somebody has cancer, they should have their genetics screened to try to find the potential underlying cause. And that's lovely for somebody who has cancer. We can, again, we can help make that treatment better. But also remember that our genetic code gets passed down. And so if somebody in a family has cancer, their parents, their kids are potentially at risk as well. So we're able to kind of trickle down the impact and really be able to take care of everybody um, because a patient becomes a family very, very quickly when it comes to genetic things. Absolutely. So do you see a big increase now in people getting genetic testing when their family members have cancer? And, and talk about the impact that has on, on people. Obviously, knowledge is power there. Knowledge is power. It's still very personal, right? So we need to make sure that people are informed and know what they're getting into. Because if you find something in your genetic code that puts you at risk for cancer, well, then you bought yourself increased screening and things like that. And everybody feels differently about that. Some people that will be more of a worry or a burden. So part of our process is a detailed discussion. We want to make sure that you understand what you're getting into. We want to give you the options and then we want to walk that path with you and kind of go on that journey with you as a patient and as their family. Wonderful. Dr. Bob, thank you so much. Such important information to share this morning. We really appreciate all you're doing uh, for the West Michigan community and beyond. You want to learn more about this program and anything else that they're doing. Um, SpectrumHealth.org is where you want to go. We'll be right back.